Well, hey, fellow romance researchers, welcome to Love Scientists, where we help you with the chemistry of connection and the data of dating so you can be more successful in romance. And today we're going to take a look at something that many of you may or may not be worried about, but it's something that does happen pretty consistently, according to science, and that's finding out if you're dating a gold digger. Now let's be clear, being financially aware isn't a crime, but when someone uses love for money, we've entered gold digger territory. So today on The Love Scientist, we're breaking down the five evidence-based signs that your relationship may not be about you, but about your wallet. Now, before we get started, I want to be very clear. This is not about bashing women. What this is about is this is about some science-based facts that there are people who enter into relationships for financial reasons alone. And trying to identify that could help a person prevent years and years of devastation in their life, not just psychologically, but also financially. So with that being said, you gotta answer the question, yes, this also goes both ways. Many times men are bigger gold diggers than women. Men are constantly exploiting women for financial reasons. So this can go either direction. Be very clear on that. All right, sign number three, status signaling obsession. Always chasing high status restaurants, luxury experiences, and public displays of wealth, even if you can't afford it. According to Gris Cavicius at all 2007, conspicuous consumption of mating signals, and Sunday at all 2011 materialism and short-term mate strategies, science shows that some individuals associate relationship success with public displays of wealth. If he or she's hyper-focused on labels, VIP access, or Instagram-worthy perks, beware. Love doesn't require Rolex to be real. And this is also easier to spot today because of social media. You could just look at somebody's social media account and you're going to know if this is the case in many, in many scenarios that they find themselves in in their life. Like you're not going to be the first person they do this to. You know, all of us like nice things. I, I mean, sure, I'd like to go on a cruise. <laughs> like I'd like to go do something. A nice restaurant sounds fantastic to me. But it's this kind of obsession with it. I, and I hope you're kind of seeing a pattern here. It's it's not just an occasional, oh, sure, I'd love to go somewhere nice, which we all want to do that. This is more about an obsession with it and constantly signaling, let's do this thing, let's do this thing, let's do this thing. 